I will probably be needing a drink before this is over and not no Gatorade, if you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, guys. So... <sighs> Perfect. 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 Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to go ahead and have a nice little sit down with y'all. Y'all can't really tell, but I'm literally sitting on the floor with some pillows. Willow is laying right here next to me. We got some good energy going on in this room right now. But I just wanted to go ahead and sit down with y'all and kind of be transparent with you guys about stuff that's been going on in my life um and a little bit of things i've been kind of dealing with and working through during the last few months so if you guys want to get to know me a little bit more and have this little chit chat grab a drink grab a treat and let's go ahead and get started <laughs> Okay, so in the beginning of 2020, I remember saying to myself that 2020 is going to be my year, sis. Now, for those of you that are new to my YouTube channel, I have been making videos for roughly about two and a half years, two years. Um, and just recently, within the last few months, specifically, <laughs> starting in April, um, my channel just started blowing up and it was almost a surreal type of feeling because when you are putting so much time and energy into something and you're getting just a little bit of traction here and there and then it finally just blows up, um, it's it's a really overwhelming feeling. Now once that happened, if you guys don't know what video I'm talking about, I'm talking about the video where I was taking selfies on my iPhone 11. So I will leave that linked up here and in the description box below. But once that happened, my happiness and excitement and celebration of it all, like quickly turned into more so of like fear and being overwhelmed and um I just I feel like fear was just mainly the main thing that kind of just took over me and um I quickly started becoming depressed and hey I'm just here to like be blunt with you guys and really tell you how it is because with this entire internet with <laughs> all these different um, apps and social medias like I feel like too many of us get caught up with their online persona and the whole facade that they kind of hide behind um, I mean we wake up every day, we're scrolling, we're scrolling, we see advertisements for things, we see we see an endless amount of advertisements as we go about our lives. You're driving down the road, there's billboards, um, there's fast food stating their specials, like, like every single place you look, it's advertisements. So I was kind of struggling with that aspect because I didn't want to be one of those people that kind of became a robot to this whole thing and I feel like this isn't talked about enough because so many people's goals and aspirations are to become famous and even I was one of them and then we kind of forget about the scrutiny that comes along with that and the judgment and the bullying and the harassment <laughs> and the people that want to take advantage of you and the people that think that you owe them things because you know they were there when you first started so it really is it really had me very overwhelmed to the point where 
I felt like I was overanalyzing every single thing I did and when it came to videos, I can't even tell you how many vlogs I've started and I've filmed and then I go to edit it and I just We ain't gonna cry because this makeup's beat, bitch. <laughs> um, but I can't tell you how many videos I've started, I've filmed, I've even like edited almost to the point where they're done. Where I just step away and I'm like, nah, I'm not gonna post that. And when I've realized that I kept doing this, um, like I said, it really just came back to fear and fear of being judged and at this point in my life I'm over that I'm over that aspect in my life and I'm over letting other people kind of dictate and control what I do with my life so when I realized that I was doing all of these things out of fear out of fear of being judged um, I really had to take a step back and remember exactly why I started this journey and exactly why I want to continue it. Um, and it's crazy to me because, like I mentioned before, you can work so hard for something and then it starts to pay off and then, and then there you go, you get somebody that wants to call you fat, or ugly, or your eyelashes are whack, or what's wrong with your eyebrows, or just like endless amount of negativity. And that's not what I want on my channel, and that's not what I want for my life. I've cut so many people out of my life, in real life, that just... They can't fulfill anything for me. They cannot. They're only bringing in negative energy. And right now, like I said, I'm at a point in my life where I just wanted to take a step back and really focus on me, focus on what I want, focus on what's going to make me happy. And personally, I feel like as an artist, not only me, but I feel like I can speak for other artists as well, um, we become very protective over our work. We become very nurturing to our work because it's literally our baby. Like, this is what we live for. We love doing creative things and personally, ever since I can remember, that is really what has helped fulfill my life was letting myself be able to express myself creatively, whether it be with photography, videography, YouTube, painting, freaking dancing in my living room, like anything. Like that is literally what it comes down to and that is what brings me pure joy. So I really want to just get back to that because I was reading this book the other day and I have it right here. And it's called Creative Manifestos. Now, it's not like a very heavy read. You can go and check it out for yourself. But there was a quote in here, and let me go ahead and find it. It says that there is nothing in nature that blooms all year long, so don't expect yourself to do so either. And when I read that, like, it literally just to my heart because <laughs> it was like a perfect explanation for like the season of my life of transforming and fucking dealing with so much stuff that I feel like I just had to take a break like I was to the point where I didn't even go on Instagram I didn't go on any type of social media um, and it was over a week for that and during that week I felt so much more grounded I was out in nature more and that is one thing that makes my heart content as well and um, 
I, I just was able to really have these revelations with myself and think about what is the next step that I want to take what is what am I here for what am I here to offer and I feel like with so many of you finding my channel and finding me on Instagram and messaging me and taking time to like share your guys' stories um it really got me emotional like some of you guys like were just so transparent with me about things in your life that I've helped you through whether it be body image or self-love things like that and all I can say is that is exactly why I'm here like if I can go ahead and be creative um, be confident in myself and do what the hell I want to do and that helps you guys like like that's a win-win for me and that's exactly why I'm doing it but so far throughout this journey I feel like I as a creator all around just need to learn how to kind of disconnect my emotions from how other people view my work and how other people view me because at the end of the day it's me willow and brendan like i've had falling out with family during the last few <laughs> weeks and months and with everything just going on in our society here it almost feels wrong for me to have days that I find happiness and that is another thing that I was struggling with is being able to kind of acknowledge and address issues that are important but also know where I'm able to take a step back and be like yo it's alright girl calm down like breathe in breathe out let it out and I just feel like with everything going on during this quarantine and this year in general natural disasters police brutality politics we ain't gonna get into all that honey because you already know but I just feel like with everything going on like that I've seen a lot of people's true colors when it comes to certain things and I've had to end a lot of relationships whether it be friends or family like I just I feel like I have isolated myself even more but for the better of my mental health and the better of my happiness but we will see this is the first video I have filmed in roughly about two months and it honestly feels a little bit weird because I know that you guys are used to seeing the bubbly the happy the goofy the all out there the crazy <laughs> yellow jade but it's just like i really i feel like there needs to be more influencers out there and more people with a certain following that are more transparent and real with it because not everybody walking around with a louis bag and a gucci bag like all that stuff like it's all a facade okay so that's really all i have to talk about today i don't I really kind of don't want to talk about a little bit more things, but I feel like that just mainly summarizes it all. Because personally, there's been just so much going on right now where I just didn't feel comfortable making content for you guys, and I didn't feel confident in my own self to make certain content for you guys, because I felt like you guys were deserving of better this better that and honey I'm I'm past it all now I'm good I'm content I'm here to post whatever the F I want 
I'm here to <laughs> do whatever the F I want, so why not have fun with it? Now to all of my artists out there, whether you be a videographer, a photographer, a YouTuber, an influencer, go ahead and do that sis! Um, a culinary artist, um, a painter, an architect, whatever kind of art you create, just remember it is your art. And even if you don't even have 20 people that see it, keep doing it. Keep doing your art. Keep doing what makes you happy. Because I promise you, if you keep doing what you love and you keep being your authentic self, it'll come full circle it'll you will be rewarded for it like i i'm i'm i've experienced it like i don't know how else to say like it really comes down to believing in your own self and really when i say this i'm so serious really not giving any amount of care to people that will criticize you. Now, there is a difference between constructive criticism and just plain old fucking criticism. So the difference is constructive criticism is they are giving you feedback on how certain things could be approved or this and that or what works, what doesn't. It's valuable. It helps you grow. Whereas criticism just keeps bringing you down. So just remember to always continue what you love, no matter what anybody else says. Take constructive criticism um, by a grain of salt because some of it's good, some of it's bad. Some people know what they're talking about and some people just wish they knew what they was talking about, okay? Um, <laughs> but anyway, that is it for this video. I hope you guys kind of enjoyed it. Um, if you didn't, I don't give a shit. <laughs> but I just felt like... I honestly just felt like you guys really deserved um, an honest and truthful video that was transparent about what I'm going through. And you're probably going through the same thing as well. So I appreciate you guys watching this video so, so much. And I do have some exciting new content coming soon for you guys. I'm so excited about that. <laughs> but anyways, that is it for today's video, guys. If you liked it, then don't forget to leave your girl a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next one.